Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this simple spiral bucket hat. As you can see, the spiral part is at the top of the hat. So I finished one. For this second one, I actually wanted to make it Valentine's Day themed. So I wanted to use pink and red, but you can't really see each thread clearly because of the red color. So I'm going to switch it to a less saturated orange. All the yarns you see here is the same yarn. It's Four Seasons Marvel 8 Ply. This is my go-to yarn. It's 100% acrylic and it calls for a 4mm crochet hook and that's what I'm going to be using. Apart from your yarn and hook, you would also need a tape measure, scissors, a yarn needle, and at least 5 stitch markers. It doesn't really matter which color you begin with, it's going to be half-half. So I'm going to begin with pink. We're going to first make a magic ring. So I'm going to hold my yarn like this, grab this thread, create a loop like this. Insert your hook in this loop, pull this yarn through the loop, like this. And then yarn over, pull it through the loop on the hook to chain one. Okay, so after that, we're going to work stitches in this loop. I'm going to work a single crochet first. So I'm going to insert my hook in this loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Mark this stitch. And then we're going to make a second single crochet in this loop again. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Next, we're going to work two half double crochets in this loop. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through three. And then you're gonna do that again, one more half double crochet, yarn over, insert, pull up, three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through three. So we did two single crochets, two half double crochets, then we're going to make two double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook, and pull up a loop. Three loops on the hook. You're going to yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Then yarn over again, pull through the last two. So that's a double crochet. And we're going to make a second one, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to drop this loop. So you either pull it up and leave it like that, or you can place a stitch marker in this. And then grab your second color, make a slip knot. So I'm going to make a cross like this. We have a loop here. I'm going to pull this yarn, this one through, like this. Now we need to attach this yarn to this loop. So I'm going to insert my hook and put this loop on my hook, pull it through the loop, and chain one. So this is just like how you normally would attach your yarn. Okay, so this color is attached to this loop. 
Next, when I work my stitches, I'm going to carry this tail as well so we don't have to fasten it off later. So I'm just going to hold it with the loop together like this and treat it as one thread. Okay, so with this color, we're going to do the same thing here. Two single crochets, two half double crochets, and two double crochets. I'm going to go a bit faster here because we just did it here. You can go back to this part if you need to. So first, a single crochet, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And again, you can mark this first stitch. One more single crochet, pull up a loop, pull through two. And then two half double crochets, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through three. Yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop, pull through three. And then two double crochets, yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. And then one last time, yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. So we just completed round one. We have six stitches here, six here, together 12 stitches for row one. And then I'm going to pull this first color to close this ring, because this is the color we used to make the ring. So pull it tight, and we've got something like this. For round two, we're going to continue with the second color, the orange color. So remember I told you to mark this first single crochet. That's the first stitch we're going to work into for the next round. If you don't have a stitch marker here, it's okay. You just count backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. This stitch. So you take off the stitch marker. And in this stitch, we're going to make two double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook in that stitch. Pull up a loop. Pull through two, pull through two. And in the same stitch, we're going to work a second double crochet. So yarn over, pull up a loop from the same stitch. Pull through two, pull through two. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is work two double crochets in each of the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. So work two double crochets in each of them. This is the last stitch. Work two double crochets in it. Okay, and then we're going to drop the loop because we need to work the other color now. So you just place a stitch marker in it and then go to the other color. I have a stitch marker here. I'm going to insert my hook back in the loop. Mm -hmm. 
And the next stitch we should work into is this one. So take off the stitch marker. We're going to first work two double crochets in this stitch. And then do that for the next five stitches. If you don't like to count, you can use the stitch marker. So that's the first one. We have five more. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to mark the next one. So that means I need to work all the way to the stitch marker, not including it. So work two double crochets in each of the next five stitches. Okay, so this is the last one. Two double crochets in it. And we just completed round two. We have 12 stitches for each color. From the next stitch to the last one is 12 stitches. And from this stitch to the last one is 12 stitches as well. So altogether, 24 stitches for round two. Round three, since this color is already on the hook, we're going to begin with this color. So take off this stitch marker. So in the next stitch, we're going to work two double crochets. In the next stitch, work one double crochet only. Next stitch again, two double crochets. Next stitch, one double. So continue repeating this, two double crochets in the next stitch, then one double in the stitch after. So work like that all the way to the stitch marker. And in the last stitch, you should work one double crochet in it. Okay, now this color is done, place your stitch marker and then continue with the other one. We're going to do the same thing. We weren't actually counting before, but we did that 2-1 repeat thing six times. And that's what we're going to do here as well. So in the next stitch, I'm going to work two double crochets. Then one double in the stitch after. That's one time. And again, two double in the next stitch. one in the stitch after. So that's the second time. And then you're going to do that four more times. So six times in total. So when you finish your last two one, you should be on the other side. And counting from the first stitch, this one here, to the last one, you should have 18 stitches in total. So you have 18 here, 18 here. For round three, we should have 36 stitches altogether. Okay, now we're gonna begin round four. 
we're going to continue with the orange color and the pattern for round four is two one one so that means in the next stitch work two double crochets and then one double in the next stitch and one in the next so that's two one one and then you're just going to repeat this 2 1 1 all the way to the last stitch here. And you should be doing that six times again. So go ahead and finish that. So I'm working the 2 1 1 pattern one last time. But for this color, you didn't need to count because you just work all the way to the last stitch in the other color. And then just like before, drop this loop and then continue with the other color beginning from the next stitch we're going to do the same thing in the next stitch work two double crochets i'm gonna take this off because it's making noise so that's two and then one in the next stitch one again in the next stitch so that's one time do this two one one five more times and when you finish this two one one six times you should be around here and from the first stitch to the last stitch you should have 24 stitches so this is the last two one one and I should have 24 stitches I should also have 24 stitches from this to this as well so 48 stitches for round 4 okay round 5 continuing in pink round 5 we're going to do 2 1 1 1 so in the next stitch work 2 double crochets And then one double crochet in each of the next three stitches so one one and one and then just like before you're going to repeat this two one 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 all the way to the last stitch in this color so I finished the last two one 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 I'm gonna drop this loop and continue with the other color and we're gonna do the same two one 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 and again you're going to do this six times So that's one time two one one one. Continue doing this pattern from here five more times, and you should end up on the other side of this. And when you finish this six times, you should have 30 stitches from the first stitch to the last for this color. So I just finished those. From this stitch to that, I have 30 stitches here and 30 for the other color, so 60 stitches for this round 5. Okay, so the pattern for round 6 is 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. So 2 and 4 ones. So in the next stitch, work 2 double crochets. And then one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. And 
and then you're going to repeat that two and four ones all the way to this last stitch here. Okay, and then last stitch, drop this loop and place hook in the other loop. And we're going to do the same thing. So in the next stitch, work two double crochets. And then one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. So two and one, two, three, four. Repeat this five more times to around here. Okay, so I did that two, one, 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 six times. And I should have 36 stitches from this to this, 36 from this to this. So for round six, we should have 72 stitches altogether. Okay, so I aim to make this circle about 7 inches in diameter because that will give me about 22 inches in circumference and that's my head size. But as you can see, I'm only at 6.5 here. So I'm going to work one more round, but after one more round, it would be a bit more than 7 inches. But that's okay because as you can see, the brim of this design is pretty flat so you don't want the top part to be too small it doesn't look that good so i'd rather for it to be bigger than smaller so i'm going to work one more round here and for this round we're going to work two double crochets in the first stitch and then one double crochet in each of the next five stitches so five double crochets, one in each stitch. And then I'm going to repeat this pattern again. Two, one, 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 one. So two and five ones. Repeat that all the way here. And so just like before, finish your last stitch, drop the loop and pick up the other loop and continue with the pattern, which is two in the first stitch. and then one in each of the next five stitches. So that's one time. Do that five more times to around here. Okay, so when you finish the other color, you should have 42 stitches each color. So round seven, 84 stitches in total. So now my circle is about 7.25 inches. It actually depends on where you measure it because this is not a perfect circle, but that's okay. I did seven rounds for this one and it turns out fine. So after seven rounds, the top part is finished. The next one is the middle section. Okay, so before we move on to the next section, we're going to mark the last stitch of each color. So this is the last stitch of pink. You're going to put a stitch marker in the top two loops of that stitch. And also last stitch in this color as well. Just place your marker in the top two loops. And then because I didn't have a stitch marker in this loop, 
but normally you should. So now you should have three markers in your work. We mark the last stitches because we want to separate the top section from the middle section. So we're not going to take them off until we finish the middle part. I'm going to continue with the current color, which is orange. I'm just going to work one double crochet in each stitch. So no increase for this middle section. So one in each stitch all the way to this last stitch here. So I'm going to work all the way to this last stitch, which is marked, but I'm not going to take the stitch marker off. I'm going to drop the current loop and place the stitch marker in it. And continue with the other color. And work one double crochet in each stitch. So one double crochet in each stitch all the way to the next stitch marker. And this is included so you work your last stitch in this marked stitch. Okay, so that's the first round of the middle section. Now we're going to begin the second round. And the second round is what you're going to repeat for the rest of the middle section. Okay, so I'm going to place a stitch marker in this very last stitch I just worked. Not in this loop, in the last stitch. And I'm not going to remove this one because this is for separating the top from the middle. So once I mark this stitch, I'm going to continue with this color. From the next stitch, work one double crochet in each stitch. So all the way to this last stitch here. And then I'm going to drop the loop and place the fifth stitch marker in it. And then replace my hook in the other color. So from the very next stitch, just work one double crochet in each stitch. So you're going to work like that all the way to the next stitch marker, which is this one. So work one double crochet in that stitch, and then you're going to take this stitch marker off, not the other one. So you can take it off. And now we completed round two. So the last thing you do is take the stitch marker off. That's the end of round two. So like I said before, we're just going to repeat this round two. Each round, you're going to begin with the color you're currently working with and then finish that round with the other one. So rewind this video to the very beginning of round two. And then you just keep repeating round two to complete the middle section. I'm going to quickly walk you through that again. So we begin with placing a stitch marker in this last stitch that we just worked. And with the current yarn, you're going to work one double crochet in each stitch all the way to the last stitch of the other color here. So when you finish the last stitch in the other color here, drop the loop and place a stitch marker. And then continue with the other color. Work one double crochet in each stitch all the way to the next stitch marker. So your last stitch should be in this stitch, this marked stitch. And then you remove this marker. And that's the end of what you're going to repeat. 
So I'm going to finish the rest half of this round. This is round three. And then just continue repeating that round two. And I'm going to work seven rounds in total for this middle section. So don't take this stitch marker off. I'll show you what it looks like after seven rounds. Okay, so I did seven rounds. That stitch marker is in this stitch. This is the last stitch of the top section. So that is the first stitch of round one. That's the end of round one. So beginning of round one, round two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's the end of round seven. And seven rounds with this yarn measures almost four inches. Okay, now we're going to begin the brim. Before we move on, we're going to mark the last stitches of the middle section. So that's one of the last stitches. And that's the other one. So this stitch marker, we don't need it anymore because we already finished the middle. And you just mark it in the last stitch here. So you have two last stitches here. So the pattern of the brim section has something to do with how many stitches the last round of the top section has. So for the top, I have seven rounds and the last round has 84 stitches. If you followed strictly to the end of the repeat round, this stitch marker should be removed. Okay, so the first round of the brim section, we're going to work with the current color, two double crochets in the first stitch. And then I'm going to work one double crochet in each of the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six stitches. And then you're going to repeat that pattern five more times to the end of this color. So two double crochets in the next stitch. And then six more double crochets, one in each stitch. So once you've done that, drop the loop. And this purple stitch marker, we're going to leave it because this marks the last stitch of the middle section. Continue with the other color. Take off the stitch marker. And the pattern is the same. Two double crochets in the next stitch. And then one double crochet in each of the next six stitches. And then repeat this pattern five more times to the next stitch marker. So you can work that pattern six times in total from here, or you just work your way to this marked stitch. 
Now leave that stitch marker there. We just completed round one of the broom. Round two, we're going to continue with this color, but we place a stitch marker in this last stitch to prepare for the next round. So we're going to continue with the current color and work one double crochet in each stitch. So work all the way to the last stitch, drop this loop, and continue with pink. Do the same thing, one double crochet in each stitch to the next marked stitch. Okay, so to this last stitch here, and then remove this marker, and round two is completed. Round three, we're going to mark this last stitch here. Continue with this color. For round three, we're going to do two double crochets in the first stitch. And then one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. One, two, three, six, seven, like this. And then you're just going to repeat this to the last stitch in the other color. So to this last stitch, and then draw the loop and place marker. Continue with the other color. And the pattern is the same. Two double crochets in the first stitch. And then one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Three. Four, five, six, and seven. And keep repeating this to the next marked stitch. and remove it. And we just finished round three. Round four is the same as round two. So place a marker in this stitch. And then continue with this color. Work one double crochet in each stitch. to this last stitch here. Drop the loop. Continue with the other color, one double crochet in each stitch.
So work to this last stitch and we just completed round four. For this one, I just stopped at round four and then I finished it up. But for this one, I want to make some changes. Um, I want to do one more round of increase. So take off the stitch marker and mark this stitch we just worked. And for round five, do two double crochets in the next stitch. And then one double crochet in each of the next eight stitches. So like this, two double crochets in one stitch, then eight double crochets here, one in each stitch. Repeat this five more times to here. So work to this last stitch, and then drop the loop With the other color, repeat the pattern. Which is two double crochets in the next stitch. And then one double crochet in each of the next eight stitches. And repeat this pattern six times for this color. Okay, so this is the end of round five. Now we just need to finish up this edge. I'm gonna take this marker off and with the current color, I'm gonna work one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. One, two, three, and four. And then work one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. One, two, three, and four. And after that, I'm going to work one slip stitch in each of the next four stitches. But instead of inserting both loops, I'll show you what happens. When you work slip stitches like this, they tend to stay on the side, so it doesn't hide the pink stitches. So instead of inserting in the top two loops, I'm going to insert in the back loop and the loop below it. So these two. And then make a slip stitch. And make it loosely, you don't want it to be too tight. And do it three more times. Two, three, and four. And then chain one, cut this yarn, pull through, and use a yarn needle to fasten it off. So I'm just going to go behind the stitches like this and eventually reach this orange thread. And then I'll just thread through the orange yarn only to hide this tail.
and that is one side of the edge finished. Let's do the other side. So place your hook and we do the same. We do four half double crochets first. One, two, three, four. And then we'll do four single crochets. One, two, three, four. And then again, when we do the slip stitch, we go in the back loop and the loop below it. And then slip stitch. So one, two, three, and four. And then just fasten off this tail as well. Also, don't forget to fasten off this one. It's the same thing, you just thread this color through the yarn in the same color. And then it's done.